Thank you, Madam President. I wanted to rise today uh, to respond to the senator from the 7th District. I'm going to do my best to remain very calm and very quiet. I know he has a very thin skin, so I don't want to upset him. I'd like to begin with a quote from Martin Luther King Jr. that says, nothing in the world is more dangerous than sincere ignorance or conscientious stupidity. By now, many of us have heard the very ignorant and close-minded comments from the senator from the 7th District regarding our Muslim brothers and sisters. Sen Please refrain from insulting another member that's against the rules. Senator Knizek. We've heard these ignorant comments because we've able, been able to read about them in online news media. We've seen the videos. He talked just now about the United States Constitution. I rem would remind him that just a few years ago he voted against teaching the, teaching the Constitution to Michigan students. And so as I listened to his remarks the last few days, attempting to discredit not just my neighbors or my friends, it's discrediting his neighbors and his friends, because I have to remind him that he has a very large constituency of Muslims in his district as well. But what I think is so sad and what is so disappointing, Madam President, is that my colleague will only say these things behind closed doors. He will only say them within an echo chamber to people who agree with the way he thinks. He will not say it in public. He will not say it to anyone's face. And that, Madam President, makes him a coward. And so I hope you're looking at me, Senator, as I call you a coward. When the senator spoke about the problem with having a Muslim state representative or the problem with having a Muslim city council, he did it behind closed doors. That Muslim state representative serves just on the other side of this building. All you had to do was go walk over and say it to his face. But again, I would not expect you to have that type of guts. The reality is that these comments are nothing more than that of a bully. Sen Senator Knizek, could you please refrain from insulting another member? It is against the rules. It's under the conduct of our fellow colleagues. Thank you, Madam President. This type of behavior is a cheap ripoff of Joseph McCarthy, spreading hatred and pseudo-intellectualism. And I want to be very clear, Madam President, that these remarks are directed at one person, not my colleagues on the other side of the aisle. Many of them have expressed their support for my Muslim friends and my Muslim constituents, and I thank them for that support. I thank them for that courage. We do have a lot of good people here in this chamber, good people who are embarrassed by this type of behavior and rhetoric. But alas, anger will not fix this problem. I don't fault anybody for having a closed-minded view of the world if they only get their information from one source. And so I see this as a learning opportunity and an opportunity to educate people. And so, for maybe the fourth or fifth time now, I'd like to invite the senator from the 7th District to join me in my district to meet with some American Muslims, because I believe that he will find that same patriotism and love of country in their hearts as he claims to have in his. I believe that if he took the time to actually speak with them, to listen to their stories, he may have a change of heart. And so if he's interested or willing, I would invite him to come to the podium and accept my invitation to spend time with me and my Muslim constituents. 